Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to talk about the guest user access. So uh, let me show you uh, an example. So I got an existing site, right? And let's say all sites. Right? And uh, I log into the site. Yeah. And you can see I have access to case, pro, contact, and product because I've logged in, which makes sense, right? Now, if I wanted to access the site, right, as a guest user, what that means is that I can access the site without logging in. I should be able to see at least product. Obviously, cases and contact, you can't see it because, you know, you can't obviously give, um, you know, a guest user access your customer information in the cases, right? But at least I want the customer, a guest user to at least browse the product to see the products which we're selling, right? Um, so if I uh, if if I look at the site in a uh, incognito mode, um, you will see that um, uh, I don't have access to it, right? But I do want to give uh, a guest user access to the product so that they can click here and can view the products right the read-only access to the product so how can you do that it's pretty simple so what I'll do um, I'll close this page right I'll go to the uh, the workspace uh, okay, builder here of the specific site and uh, what I'll do I will go to sorry administration and uh, administration I go to pages and I'll go to the go to force.com so I will take you to the profile which is the help center profile and I'll go to the public access settings and I go to the object settings yeah and I look for product yeah um, This product come here. Um, I'm gonna do edit and what I'll do, I'll read, click on read access. Okay, it's exactly what we wanted. Okay, so I'll save it. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully, internet is not down. Um, so um, because we got this cyclone going on in New Zealand, so uh, I sometimes when things get slower, I wonder, oh, if the Wi-Fi is down. So fortunately not. Uh, so it's done. Now I'm gonna do. I close this one, right? And I'll go to all side. Yeah, this is um, what I'll do. Go to settings. Yeah, copy this one. And I'll go to incognito window. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got a product here. Okay. Now, when I click on product, you will see, hmm, that's interesting. Why can't I see any of the products here, right? Yeah, so the reason behind that, because you will not have access to the items till you create a sharing rule. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll go to the all sides. Uh, sorry, I, I'll close this one, right? I go to your the the org, and under setup, what I'll do, I'll go to sharing settings, right? And um, what I'll do, I'll just do, I'll search for guest. See, secure guest user record access. Um, so this is ticked, okay? Keeping the setting enabled. Is a security best practice. So secure the access that guest user have to your org data. Guest use, users org wide default are set to private for all objects. So when you set this one right, so uh, what that means is that your product uh, access will be private uh, because of this op uh, option. So uh, so unless something created by so obviously guest user can't create anything right. So and and the products created by other users, the guest user won't be able to see it. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why you can see that guest users won't be able to see anything. 
Uh, in spite of the fact that, hang on a second, what the heck? Um, see, even though you can set def default external access for the product, uh, sorry, where is it? Uh, okay, so the product is public rewrite. Still, you can't see it, right, because of that setting. Now, how to configure that, right? So to configure that, you need to create a sharing rule. So I will go to the product sharing rule. All right, I'll create new. And I'll say product, uh, no, guest product rule. Yep. Uh, just give a meaningful name. And what I wanted to do to give this user, uh, any guest user, access to the products which, which are active. Right, because it's a uh, criteria based sharing. So I'll do here active operators equals to true. And I will do insert selected. And then um, if you wanted to include the records on Baha'i volume user, you can do that. For now, I'll just skip it and share with. We're not sharing with the partner central, we're sharing with the help center because that's our help side because we got two. Um, uh, side right so this is the one I wanted to share with and I wanted to give the read only access that's the only access you can give and you will do okay all right now what I'll do I'll go back to the digital oh. come on uh, digital experience all side and I will Go to, I'll copy this link here. And let's try in incognito mode. And let's see what happens. All right, let's try product. There you go, you have access. All right, and uh, this is how you actually get access to, you know, any record. You can go and view the record here. Um, so, yeah. And you can't pretty much do anything because it's just a read-only access. And that's exactly what I wanted, to give guest user at least have access to our products uh, collection so that I can view and make an informed decision if, you, if they wanted to contact us or not. I just gave you a very simple example. In some case, it might be a, a knowledge article you wanted to share with a guest user. Or in other case, you might have some custom object with certain information you wanted to expose to the guest user, uh, irrespective of their login status. So, yeah, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode. I hope you find this session informative because, you know, in your real life implementation scenario, uh, you might experience this kind of uh, scenarios where you might want to give access to the guest user certain information and, and certain information you don't want it to give access. Like, for instance, in our case, uh, no K contact and uh, account sorry, not case and contact, right? Because obviously you don't want the guest users to have access to your customer information. Right, and so one thing I just wanted to mention that uh, if you have noticed that I talked a bit about the sharing model, right? The How to create a sharing rule. Uh, it's very important you guys to understand that. That's one of the reasons why uh, I believe the um, belief, uh, Salesforce kept admin as a prerequisite. Uh, it's very important to understand because my, you know, you might have, um, you know, seen some courses which say zero to hero or whatever, right? The the term they say, I don't like to use that term because to me, that's a disrespectful term. The reason why you cannot become a hero in two hours time, right? You're just saying that, hey, you just spent two hours, that will negate the experience. That's not how it works. For me, uh, the way I look at it, right, you get the foundation right and then you build on it, on top of it. And it comes with your experience. The more you do stuff, more uh, scenarios you implement, the more you learn, right? And there's no here to zero stuff here. It's just a pure, you know, I'm just teaching the concept using which you can build stuff. That's all it is. So that's pretty much I wanted to cover in this episode. I hope you guys have an amazing uh, Tuesday. Uh, if you're in Auckland, stay safe. And adios. <laughs>